North Dakota is home to a wide variety of wildlife, from the common sightings to the rarely seen. The North Dakota Game and Fish Department is responsible for the management and protection of all fish and wildlife populations throughout the state. Some species are thriving. Once on the brink of extinction, bald eagles can now be found nesting in nearly every county in North Dakota. Other species are struggling. Monarch butterflies and western meadowlarks are getting harder to find in some places. No one wants to see wildlife disappear or listed as threatened or endangered. The cost to protect or restore at-risk species far outweighs preventing their decline in the first place. That's why every state, including North Dakota, has developed a plan, a state wildlife action plan. These proactive plans are the blueprints for conserving our nation's fish and wildlife, keeping species off threatened and endangered species lists. There are eight required elements that the state wildlife action plan must include. The first element is identifying species that are most at risk or in decline. This includes any birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish, freshwater mussel, terrestrial or aquatic invertebrates that are in decline, vulnerable or at greatest risk of becoming imperiled in the future. These animals make up our species of greatest conservation need list. The next element identifies the primary habitats these species require to complete their life cycle. In North Dakota, this includes our diverse native prairies, forests, riparian corridors, rivers and streams, wetlands, and badlands. The third element considers what factors are causing the species to be at risk or in decline. Habitat loss is often the primary cause. However, other issues like disease, human infrastructure impacts, pesticides, impaired water systems, or invasive species can also have a negative effect on species or their habitat. Element four identifies the actions needed to accelerate the recovery of species of greatest conservation need and restore their habitats. As you may have guessed, the reoccurring theme throughout this plan is habitat. Following through with the existing wildlife and habitat conservation and restoration programs is key to its success, as well as advancing new conservation solutions. The fifth element of the State Wildlife Action Plan monitors species populations and habitat. This part identifies what needs to be done in the form of gathering information, expanding research, and monitoring of species which may be at risk or declining. This includes working with researchers, partners, and even other states or regions to address and solve wildlife and conservation challenges. The sixth element requires a review of the plan every 10 years. This includes removing species from the list that have recovered, adding species in trouble, and identifying the emerging threats and conservation actions needed. In the seventh element, various partners get involved from the federal to state or local agency level to non-governmental organizations, tribal nations, even private landowners have an opportunity to voice ideas on the plan. By including various perspectives from conservation, agriculture, and industry partners, we increase the success of implementing the plan. And finally, in the eighth element, members of the public such as yourself have an opportunity to voice your opinion. North Dakota's wildlife is entrusted in the care of state wildlife agencies to be safeguarded on your behalf, not just for now, but for future generations to enjoy. You are the most important piece of the state wildlife action plan because actions you take from planting a backyard pollinator garden to managing large grasslands for sustainability and resiliency can make a difference. The North Dakota State Wildlife Action Plan is more than a vision put together by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. It's a vision for healthy and diverse wildlife populations, their habitats, and the resources that make it all possible.